person behind you up here in the car, which makes for a little more difficult training if you might be able to walk into the fly with them. In this aircraft, uh, you can go bump shoulders because you're staggered, but you can kind of turn around and look at each other a little bit, so you can enjoy a flight with some of the now touching down very nicely, it appears, in the single-seat fighter. And finally, Paul will be coming up in this aircraft that uh, you could take home with you if you've got the money and you've got the desire. And if you flew in one, you'd have the ladder. Paul now touching down midfield in the Flight Star 2SL that he uses for training. Well, he's trying to touch down. There we go. Bring it down to the end of the runway to make room for the next propeller. That's a very polite gesture, and we appreciate it. You want to talk to the Flight Star folks? They're available directly behind the announcement stand here, right next to the locker room. Give him a wave as he goes with the Fokker. Uh, he's off back home up to Kansas City. Hey, the Red Bear. Yeah, hey, the Red Bear. And I hope you've got your cameras on this, so we don't see under the side plate in here very much. Privately owned, the guy who built us a lot of guys today. It'd be nice if we could get all together because we have a Jenny, Baz, uh, and one other here. Okay, uh, we've got the uh, flying race of here in Chicago, the D8 uh, focus sitting on the line. I don't think it's a lot of them, but I think it's a lot of them. But somebody's working on one of those. We've got Warbirds, Mike Lowenthal, World War II 